And while, you know, most of us are having to socially distance, uh, don't socially isolate. I know that we're going through some, some tough times right now and people are having to navigate stress, feelings of stress, anxiety, the unknown. And, you know, this is every day. Uh, every day is presenting a new challenge and not knowing what the future is going to hold is tough. And, you know, when you see people fall on hardships or, or going through hardships, it's, it's normal to feel this way. So I think now more than ever, we have to, you know, practice compassion. We have to be kind. Um, we have to be mindful of our words, our actions, and really practice a sense of community. I think that's really the, the biggest thing. I think you've seen the, the NBA community step up. We've seen people step up across all sports. Uh, and beyond, honestly, we ne really need more of that because people want to, people want to feel like they're part of something bigger as well as on the winning side of history. If I know anything about us is that, you know, human beings are resilient. We will get through this, but in the meantime, we need to uh, practice empathy, compassion, uh, and just know that our actions and our words uh, speak volumes during this time because there's a lot of people uh, that are going through it and have it worse than we do. And the only thing that we can do is is just to continue to have, you know, our message heard, continue to pay it forward with with our communication and, and that, that sense of community. I think that's so huge. And while, you know, most of us are having to socially distance, uh, don't socially isolate. I think there's so many ways now that you can reach out uh, virtually and uh, you know, so many things that you're able to share with, with loved ones or even at a, a local level or a global level as well. Um, that's where we're fortunate, uh, you know, in the NBA community is we do have that reach. So uh, if you're able to do it, please do. I think nothing, nothing unites us like the same enemy. It's very powerful uh, what we're able to do and humans are able to do if we put our minds to it. So I would just say continue to, to Continue to pay it forward in any way that you can and be cognizant of, of not only people's physical health, but their emotional health through this super anxiety ridden and, and, and stressful time because we don't know what the future holds. We don't know what the next day is going to hold. All we can hope for is that we're going to do this thing together and come out on top. All right, pop quiz. Do you know which countries have the highest carbon emissions or how long it took Mariah Carey and her producer to write All I Want for Christmas? If not, then you should definitely subscribe to Now This Is First newsletter. Know this. You can sign up right here at the website below. Hey, I'm Zinclair Samoa, host of Know This, a daily evening news show on Now This News, and we're bringing you a Know This newsletter. Every day, our editors break down the top five stories so you are always in the know. Each night, you can get the biggest breaking news, politics, culture, and entertainment stories straight to your inbox. Find out why stories trending online are generating so much buzz and wind down your day with the stories that matter to you. What's more, Know This gives you a special edge, including the little-known facts from each story that you need to know. We'll give you context on why new policies and innovations matter, but don't worry, we keep it fun too. There are gifts, puns, and plenty of lighter stories to give you talking points at dinner tonight. So sign up now right here at the website below. If you like what you read, forward our newsletter to your friends. You can also watch our show Know This on Facebook Watch, search Now This Daily on Facebook, and look out for the Know This series playlist to check out all the video episodes you may have missed. You can also find us on Now This News Instagram stories, so you can get caught up on all the news you need to know. See you in your inbox.